Salty is a diesel fencer who works at Brendan Docks on the island of Sodor. He loves working by the sea and is always telling his stories to the other engines whenever he isn't busy. One morning, Salty and Porter had just woken up to start their day's work when the fat controller arrived. Ah, good morning you two. I need a volunteer for a very important job that needs to be done straight away. An important job? What is it, sir? What needs doing, Captain? Now then, I only need one engine to do this job. Salty, can you take these trucks to the scrapyards in Wellsworth? Aye, aye, sir! But wouldn't you miss the sea if you were going to the scrapyard? Don't worry, Porter! Once I deliver these trucks to the scrapyard, I'll be heading straight back here ere you see a sailor returning on deck. All right, lads, it's time to set sail! Ha <laughs> ha! Salty was delivering the trucks of scrap to the scrapyards in Wellsburg. Horn when saying hello. Fear not, matey. Once I finish this delivery, it'll be smooth sailing to Brendam. When Salty arrived at the scrapyard, Reg was surprised to see him. Hello, Salty. I've not seen you for ages. I know, Reg. Tis been ages since I last saw ye. Uh, but I can't stay the chit and chat. Better head on back to port. I'm sorry, mate, but you won't be going back until later this evening. Hey, Why ever not? I need an engine to be shunting trucks at the scrapyards today. Everyone else is too busy to come here. And plus, I would really like some company. If you insist, Reg. Ah, shiver me axles. Here we go again. Don't worry, it's just for one day. You can go back to the docks when you're done working here. So the scrapyard manager telephoned the dock manager about Salty working at the scrapyards for the day. And the dock manager went to tell Porter the news. I just got a call from the scrapyard manager. He said that Salty is to work at the scrapyards today. Looks like he wouldn't be coming back until late in the afternoon, I'm afraid. If Salty's gonna work at the scrapyards, then who's gonna take his place at the docks? I can't do all the shunting work myself. Not to worry, Porter. I'll telephone the fat controller and he'll find a spare engine to help out while Salty is away. I hope it isn't a nasty one. It wasn't long until other engines arrived at the docks, as they were waiting to know who the spare engine was while Salty was away. Just then, they heard a familiar horn in the distance. Suddenly, out of nowhere, came Diesel 10. Oh no! It's Diesel 10! He's back again? Oh, this won't do it all. Hello, puffballs! Now I'm back to get my revenge. <laughs> I've never seen a diesel engine this scary. I really don't want to work with him. I'm getting out of here! Wait, Thor, come back! You haven't seen the last of us, Diesel 10. Oh, really? Well, I'm here to take over the docks and to dominate you tin kettles once again. Is that right, Pinchy? <laughs> you can't dominate us. Neither will Salty while he's away at the scrapyards. What's this I hear about a diesel engine being sent to the scrapyards? It's only for one day. Salty will come back late this afternoon. And when he dies, I'm going to make him go back and he'll never come back here again! <laughs> so Thomas, Percy and Edward went to the steamworks to tell the other engines about Diesel 10 taking over the docks. Diesel 10 is back and he's taken over the docks while Salty is away! Not only that, but Porter also ran away to hide from Diesel 10. We've had enough of Diesel 10 causing trouble to us. Why would the fat controller make Salty go to the scrapyards while Diesel 10 does his job at the docks? We have no idea why, Emily. 
Why are you lot still here? Could the Joel be working on the railway instead of just coming here without me knowing you've all broken down? Sorry, Victor. We were just having a meeting about Diesel 10 taking over the docks. <sighs> this again? Why does that diesel engine with the claw always have to destroy everything he does to get his way? We don't know, Victor. I just wish Salty stayed at the docks instead of going to the scrapyards like how the fat controller said. Boss! Where do I move these oil drums? Just leave them near the turntable, Kevin. And the rest of you, get back to work. Sorry, Victor. We're on our way. Come on, everyone. As the steam engines left the steam works, an idea came to Edward's mind. I know how we can help Salty finish his job quickly. Really? How can we help him? We can go all over the island and collect the trucks filled with scrap to take to the scrapyards. Imagine Salty, you will be very pleased to see us. That sounds like a good idea, Edward. We better do it quickly, because Diesel 10 might be destroying the docks by now. Thomas was right. At random docks, Diesel 10 was making all sorts of messes around the area. Cranky and Carly couldn't concentrate on their jobs with Diesel 10 destroying everything. Random docks is mine! It's all mine! I'll never give it back! <laughs> right, Pinchy? <laughs> when will this nonsense stop, Cranky? I don't know, Carly. But Porter should be here shunting instead of hiding away. Just then, Diesel and Harry and Bert arrived at the docks with their deliveries and was surprised to see Diesel 10 taking over. Diesel 10? What did you do to this place? I've turned this place into a Diesel's only yard. No steam puffballs will come here now. We're Diesel engines, boss. So can we join the club too? Yes, you may, you three. You will have the job to make sure the tin curls don't get through. We're on it, bossy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Cranky. This doesn't sound good. Let's just wait for Porter and Salty to return when they're done from their errands. Meanwhile, Thomas and his friends were busy collecting cuts of scrap from various places around the island to take to the scrapyards. As Thomas pulled into Wellsworth Yards, he saw Porter hiding inside the sheds. Hello, Porter. What are you doing in here? Shh! I'm hiding, Thomas. I can't go back to the docks until that scary diesel goes away. There's nothing to worry about, Porter. I've seen this diesel engine numerous times before. Diesel 10 may be scary, but if you see him more from the outside, you'll eventually get used to him. Do you really think so, Thomas? I don't think this is such a good idea. Don't worry, Porter. I'll be right beside you, keeping you comfort. The office is at the very end of my branch line, Porter. First, we'll be going to the scrapyards to see how salty he is. Oh, okay. I hope Salty gets his job at the docks back. Down at the scrapyard. Salty was busy chunking trucks away while Meg was hiding now. Do you miss the sea, Salty? I read. Ah, I do. Hey! Well, here, Salty! We've got more scrap trucks for you to rush to sort out. That's brilliant! Thank you, Edward! You see, Porter? Reg has a claw like Diesel 10, and he's very friendly. You're right, Thomas. Rich does seem very cheerful. Are there any more engines coming with some scrap? They should be coming here any minute now. And soon enough, Henry, Percy, Emily, and Mia arrived at the scrapyards with their loads of scrap. Reg and Salty were very pleased to see them. Salty shunted the truck and Red lifted and loaded. By the time the job was complete, the steam engines were happy to have Salty back with them. Okay, Salty, the job's now complete. Thank you, Reg. 
Arr, another fine day's work. Let's get you back to the dock, Salty. Come on. Down at the docks, Hazel, Hazel 10, Ari and Bert had made a terrible mess. They were making sure the steam engines don't have access to enter the loading area. These docks are quite a fine mess. You did a great job, boss. Thanks, you two. Now the docks is all ours. Not yet it ain't, ye scurvy pirates. Salty is back, brilliant. And so is Porter, and they've got company. Wait, if you're a diesel, then why are you with those tin kettles? Give us our docks back, Diesel 10! You either go back to the diesel works, or go to the scrapyards. Never. We actually like it here. Salty and the steam engines waited, stared, and glared at Diesel 10. Then Diesel 10 crumbled the floor. How will you help us in this place? Just then, the Fat Controller arrived. He was very cross to see the docks in a big mess. Diesel 10, what do you think you are doing? Fat Hat, I mean, Sir Topper, uh, uh, what are you doing here? You, Diesel 10, are an engine on my railway. You will do as I say when I say it. Do you understand? I can do whatever I want! You, of course, confusion and delay. The docks has been bashed and banged because of you, and I'm going to have to give you a punishment for your actions. If you're going to punish Diesel 10, what are you going to do to Diesel, Ari and Bert? As for you, Diesel, I am sending you back to the Diesel Works, and Ari and Bert, I am sending both of you back to the Iron Works. Not again. <sighs> Oh, I punished. Me too, Harry. Hooray! We got the docks back! Good to be back by the sea! Ha 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 Well, we've got to clear this mess up before we do anything else. Everyone cleaned up the mess Diesel 10 had made. The steam engines were happy to have Salty and Porter back at the docks. But you're not going to guess what Diesel 10's punishment was, can't you? We need a bit more logs than that! You'd make a great addition to our Misty Island team! That's right! Grr. I can't believe this is the punishment Fat Hat gave me! One bit, one bash, and there's never a crash! That's right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>